Hello and welcome back. Now today what we're going to be doing is replacing the flex plate and starter in our 80 model Pro Street. Now the reason we're doing that is because when we got the truck originally, there was a bad spot on the flex plate that every time it got to that spot, it grind. So we're going to change it because it's gotten a little bit worse. And usually whenever you change a flex plate or flywheel, you really need to either change your starter or have the teeth replaced on it. Otherwise, if you got any damage on the starter, it's going to transfer over to the new flex plate or flywheel. You just have to replace things again. And that's not what, something we want to do. To replace both of them. But now then, other than the normal parts of pulling the transmission out of the way, there's a little trick I'm going to show you guys in order to help you out. Especially you guys who are probably doing it like me. That are shade treeing it. And you're going to probably be going to be under the vehicle, laying on your back, moving the transmission out of your way. Now, it can be kind of a pain because lining it back up gets kind of tricky. So we got a little trick for that. And you can get bolts or you can get all thread. I got some all thread right here. I cut the length, put nuts on the back side of it. And basically, the two bottom holes, I'm going to pull those bolts out, put these in. That way when I slide the transmission back, it'll stay in line. So once I've replaced everything and go to push the transmission back to the back side of the motor, it'll already be lined up and it'll save us a lot of time and hassle trying to line it back up. Now for some of you doing this on the ground like me, our little setup here, we have our jack. We're using a piece of wood to protect the transmission pan. And we're rolling it around on a piece of laminated wood. That way it rolls really easy so we can just slide it back and forth makes the tra moving the transmission so much easier now as you can see we have our all thread to the block through transmission now we can get to our flex plate bolts change the flex plate and once we're done when we're sliding the transmission back up that all thread will help keep it lined up make it a lot easier to go back on Now, it's still going to be an annoying job when you're on the ground like that, but that trick should help a lot of you out, especially when lining the transmission back up, which can be a pain while you're under it, especially if you're by yourself like me. You try and get up there and everything lined back up neat, and that can save you some time and help you out. Now, as far as a flex plate goes, there's a lot of things to prevent damage to it in the starter, and one of them is something what the previous owner of this truck didn't do and that was he did not have a dust cover underneath which is very possible something come up from the road and hit one of the teeth especially since this was a lowered truck now keeping your starter properly tightened if it comes a little loose it causes damage to the teeth properly shimmed make sure that you have the proper flex plate to starter teeth ratio like this flex plate is a 168 tooth, so the starter we're going to be using is for a 168 tooth. I've seen people just grab starters because it's a high performance starter, not checking the teeth teeth on it, and screwing up the flex plate and then having to pull transmission, change the flex plate, which is a lot of work and really a big pain. So those are just a few other things like make sure the converter bolts are tight, make sure all that's good and tight, make sure nothing wobbles, comes loose, and damage any teeth. Should be good for a while. Now, like I said, if you got damage to the flex plate, all is all you got damage to the starter, so you want to take care of that too. Now, I hope this helped all you out, and as always, thanks for watching. 